Okay, so I'm at customer's location. They complain they have two units that their drive wheel slips when they put a load on the front. These are the the wheels. They are not in bad shape. This one's pretty fairly new. So which means that the casters are worn down more than the steer drive uh, wheels. So the way you want to adjust them is first you take off this black piece. It has four uh, Allen heads. You take this cover off and then I'm going to show you next. So with the cover off, you're going to see this assembly. This is how it looks before I reshim it. You know, got the cast the free wheels or caster as you want to say. The top of the casters got some bushings, the frame, some more bushings. So what you do is take these two bolts loose. Don't take them all the way out. But before you do that, you want to come and take your plate, and your battery out. And then you want to slightly move the battery just a little bit out of the unit. Can I do one hand again? Gravity's fighting this, but anyways, there's a bolt down here that also holds the caster motor. You want to just make that loose. Don't take it out. Or if not, you got to pick up the whole caster motor and try to get it by your hand by yourself. And it's kind of heavy, to be honest. So you take these two loose and the other one on the frame that holds the caster. And it's going to drop, make a gap for right here. And you can take one shim off and put it on in the middle. Then we torque these two bolts and do that one last. So we'll do that real fast. Okay, so these two are loose now. I also got the one on the back side that holds the housing in the loose it makes a gap right here all you do is just take out use a hammer it's a lot better for you two hands but you know I have to get a screwdriver. Just pop out one shim, put it back under here. Make these tight, well, slide these back okay now just retorque these and that back one again you do these first to suck up the wheel and then you do that I do that one last and that should be it since the drive wheel is pretty new I just went ahead and do two, two shims so <laughs> just make this tight again and that's going to close up the gap. I'll just snuggle them down first since uh, I still got the other one to do. I'm left handed too, so I'm not too good. All right. 